Hi, I'm Robin Olson. I am coming to you from the charming little town of Pulaski, Tennessee. We are located at the very southern end of the state right there on the Alabama line. And the resource that I wanted to talk about or actually praise today is the smart thinking student tool that can be found embedded with each of our courses on Blackboard. Uh, I've actually submitted to the smart thinking student tool three different times during my first course at Regent University the University 500 class and I really appreciate the way that it works and, and the help that it has given me as a new student. I think this is a great resource because it works with my schedule. I'm actually a uh, full-time teaching mom who happens to have two toddlers at home. I know I chose a brilliant time to begin a journey in a graduate program but that's okay. Uh, Regent's schedule and online availability of classes works really well for us. But anyways, the, um, the Smart Thinking resource allows me to complete my work uh, as it is convenient for me. So if the kids go to bed at 1030 and I'm up finishing my paper at 12, I can, I can submit it then as soon as I'm done. And this tutors strive to give feedback within a 24 hour period. So the next night when the kids go to bed, I can uh, do my best to, to look at that feedback and implement it and strengthen uh, the work that I've done in my paper. So it's really nice how it works with my schedule and I don't have to try to find time that isn't there during uh, business hours to communicate with a tutor. It's really nice. And I always like things in writing too because I think writing allows us to communicate effectively in that there's no miscommunication or misunderstanding. I can always look back over their notes and um, make sure that I have implemented them correctly and understood them as they were intended. So that's really nice as well. I do think that there is a very high level of feedback given uh, from the, the peer tutors that are working within the Smart Thinking uh, Center. I actually teach grammar myself um, right now in the high school setting and they are giving me feedback on things like uh, sentence structure or the complexity of my argument, things like that, that that I need to sort of take my writing to that next level that's appropriate for graduate school. And my last paper, I actually had made an error in subject verb agreement, which humiliated me <laughs> a little bit, but that's okay. It, it came after a long and sort of rambling subordinate clause and the tutor caught that for me. So I didn't have to turn my paper in with the error. I could take that S off. I think it was an S that needed to be taken off and uh, fix it before I submitted my work for grading. So that was really nice. Um, it's just an ex extra set of expert eyes to look over your work for you and um, kind of proof it a little bit and offer some really good feedback before you turn it in. I think it can definitely help help grades move from one level to the next if you can take the time and get the paper done early and submit it to that smart thinking tutor. Uh, when I look over my own documents, the, the, the three that I've submitted for Regent, I can see that there are errors that are sort of patterns for myself. So hopefully I can implement the feedback that they've given and kind of watch for those things as I continue. Uh, my biggest issue, I guess, is occasionally creating sentences that are far too complex and sort of ramble. They would better serve my audience by being broken into two distinct parts. So that's a big thing for me, as well as an occasional typo. Within my last paper, I think I had a, a the that should have been a the end, and it was something that I was just reading over and not catching as I proved my own paper. I think that when we are so engrossed and embedded in a work, we spent so much time with it and put so much energy into it that it can sometimes be difficult to correct those mistakes like that. Our, our eyes and our brains will just fix them for us and we'll keep moving on through. So I definitely appreciate that a tutor from the Smart Thinking student resource is, is taking the time to give that extra look at my paper. It's been a really helpful resource. I'm so glad and grateful that it's here, that it's free, that it works with my schedule, and I will really strive as a student to try and co complete my assignments early so that I can utilize that Smart Thinking student tool for every writing assignment. I just think that's a great idea and a great help to have. Uh, as as it all continues. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that everyone is well and may your journey be blessed. Thanks so much and have a good day.